Do I need the mats? Do I need something on the the floor? Um, it always helps to have something for your knees. Actually, yeah, go ahead and roll out your mat. All right. <laughs> so we've talked about it before in the class. So for, to do the class, you can use, so part of the class is already just body weight. So we, are, we, we already have that available to you. All you need is about a yoga mat's worth of space in order to play in this, in, in this class. Um, obviously the class is built around the kettlebell, but if you have a dumbbell, that'll work as well. And Francis has mentioned it before, but a book bag will work just as well. And if anything, it might be, it might have its own benefits because a lot of times you end up having to like really pinch grip. And this grip like this very much resembles the way you would grab the sleeve of a gi for a spider guard or any kind of lasso guard play. So don't be afraid to play around a little bit, get a little low tech. It, it all counts, you know? It's That's what I told them before. That's what I told them. They have in front of them. So Go I'm That's it. Cool. All right, so let's start warming up. Let's start by tucking the chin and taking some circles here. Try to really force the shoulders down as you take your circles. Other way. And center. Let's go ahead and put hands to the shoulders like a mummy. Really get nice and tight here, like squeeze down hard, send the elbows down. Round your upper back, think like your legs like a sword to the dinosaur. Do some circles right there at the thoracic spine. You can do these kneeling, standing, sitting. Other direction. And center. Go ahead and interlace your fingers, lock the elbows down by the rib cage, and start to take circles at the wrist. Other direction. Go ahead and keep the fingers interlaced, take the elbows out to the side, back and forth. Now keep the palms facing down. Center and take waves. Other direction. And center. Go ahead and take your hands out in front of you. Flip the palms down and take some circles at the elbow. Other direction. Keep your circles going, take your elbows out to the side. Roll one shoulder forward, roll the other shoulder back. Which? 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 Center, take both hands way up to the sky. Grab your left wrist with your right hand. Go ahead and lean to the right. That whole left side of the body opens up. Maybe even twist a little bit towards the left and look up. Center, grab the right wrist with the left hand. Lean 
maybe to the left, to the right side body opens, maybe twist a little, maybe look up. And center. If you're on your knees, go ahead and find a standing position here. And center, so switch hands. So right fist goes directly below the face on the floor, left hand goes up to the sky. And center, and walk the feet in just a little bit, bend the knees, find a squat. Make sure the feet are flat on the floor, big toes pressing into the ground so that you can stay nice and tall. Hands reaching out in front of you so that your spine stays long, chest up. Let's take a couple of squats from here. One, and back down. Stay in my ally. And up. And find some depth there. One more. And find that depth. And up and shake it out. So we've got a couple of combos. I'm gonna play with you guys for you. Play with you guys for today. Uh, your kettlebell is going to be upper body focus today, while your body weight step is gonna be lower body focus. So we do a little bit of contact today, just kind of animal. Uh, you like this one, should be familiar with the last class. So, with your kettlebell, you're holding on to the ball portion. The face is in your Stay nice and tall. You're going to press straight up. Bring it down. And take a hit. Press up. Whoop. Bring it around. And growl down and fall. And take a hit. <laughs> so, with each one, take your time in. Second movement is going to be lower body. We're going to go lunge to horse stance. So I'm going to set our timer. Tell me some technical difficulties. Sorry? 
You're having some technical difficulties there. Yeah, I'm just, I'm just finding, find the angle, but it's fine. Now. Okay. No shoes, right? It's better. Uh, no, no shoes, shoes is better. Yeah, because you're pivoting. All right. Now, All right. So, all my mats are ready. Cool. So I'm gonna set our timer, and we're gonna get moving, starting with the presses into the halos. So. Let's do it. Let's go. Press in. Up. Down and other side. Our bicep. Both hands to the back. Bicep in the ear and in. Press. Down. Bicep. Back. Bicep. In. Press. Down. Bicep. Back. Bicep. In. Press, down 30 seconds, bicep, back, bicep, face, up, down, bicep, back, bicep, face, up, down, bicep, back, bicep, face, up, keep going, 10 more seconds. And set it down. Take a second, shake it out. I absolutely love Francis that I can hear the birds in your background. Yes, it's nature <laughs> here, man. Everything's natural here. <laughs> Even me. <laughs> so here we go. So, lunge, horse dance, lunge, up, lunge, horse dance. Lunge up. Press in. External reverse. Find that stance at the feet of pointing out the opposite direction. Then back in. And press back up. Other leg. Knees should not touch the ground if you're here. Stay active in the legs. 30 more seconds. That's a fun one because it's very strength mobility. That little bit of twist is yeah. really fun for people who like to do standing passes and stuff. So let's grab our bell. Press and tail. seconds. Fifteen. Shake out their shoulders, upper back, a little bit of chest, shoulders should be feeling pretty good. They should be feeling nice and, nice and warm. Yep. 10 more seconds.
Coming into our last round of presses to halos. Nice. I'm feeling, I'm feeling good. seconds. to horse. Nicely done, Professor. Yes, my friend. It's good. Good sweat. Second exercise, second combo for the morning. It's going to be clean and press and a, a squat into a carioca. So the clean and press is fairly simple. I saw that smile like, oh, God, he's going to make me laugh. Take this out from the floor into the wrapped position. So the wrapped position here. Everything close. Elbow is close to the ribs, nice and tight. Fingertips are very lightly gripping the bell, and it's close to my collarbone. It's not out here. Imagine you're getting ready for a boxing stance with the hands close together here. If anything, keep the other hand close. So from there, press it up, bring it back. From there, you're gonna lower it to the ground. Switch hands, pop it up, same thing, hands close, boom, boom. Lots of back, lots of shoulder, lots of chest. One minute on, 20 seconds off. Second exercise would be a squat into a carioca. When I was a judo player, we used to do hundreds of these because it gets that hip rotation practice and that quick hip rotation for getting in for, for takedowns. So, very simple. Squat, pop up, and back. So, I'm going to rotate this down. 
you look at my feet, you're going to notice one, up, up. up. Very low, right? Very low. Stay basically under the hips, and you come up, and as you're coming up, immediately rotate and pop back down. Rotate, pop back down. Squat up, rotate, pop back down. So it stays as one fluid back and forth motion. Okay. Like a Shirinagi. Like yes, a Shirinagi. Very, very much like a Shirinagi. All right. So go ahead and grab your bell. We're going to go ahead and get started with the cleans and presses. That's cool. Let's do it. My knees are complaining. I'm back as well. Second round of squats to Cariocas. I don't know about you, but my legs are burning. A lot.
30 seconds. My back is not good enough today. Huh? My back is not good enough today. Heard that. My discs are complaining today. This is our last round of exercise before we stretch out and relax. Awesome. So grab your bell. bell. Let's do it. Last work set. Last work set. <laughs> ah, Lucas. My back is old. Oh. Oh. Killer. Oh. Oh. 